This is Media Live. Let's start now. And the name of the 99-year-old retired expatriate Navy officer Rufus Martin, who was granted Guinean citizenship in fulfillment of his long cherished dream, has been dedicated to the Asankofa Memorial Wall at the AU Diaspora Africa Forum. Now, the Memorial Wall signifies the representation of diasporans who lived the dreams of their forefathers. Sarah Park, who witnessed the event and has come through with the following report. Rufus Martin died a day after his greatest wish of becoming a Ghanaian citizen was granted. It was barely three months ago when he cheerfully danced at his 99th birthday celebration at his residence in Akwemufie in the eastern region. Rufus was convinced that his great-grandfather, Jake Kane, was among the slaves that were transported to Europe, hence relocating to Ghana in pursuance of his ancestral lineage. His family successfully organized a conference ceremony for him while he laid on his sick bed. But he couldn't live longer to enjoy the achievement. His remains have been incremented according to his belief. The head of the Diaspora African Forum, Ambassador Dr. Erica Bennett, was thankful to government for the support. His nephew, Norman Edwards, says he will continue whatever his uncle has started here in Ghana. I would simply say this, that I will pursue that last task that he started on, and that was to build a library. A trip to Africa turned his life around, that in his age 90s, he decided I'm moving and by 93 he had a house and he was here so I don't know too many 90 year olds that make an effort to do so but um, he found the energy he found the, the warmth so I want to keep that legacy of what he accomplished visible for others to understand the ceremony was graced by close friends and family of the late Rufus Martin and so rest in peace. Now to what...